Honorable Yogida Saminaden, Minister of Technology, Communication and Innovation. Honorable Etienne Sinatangu, Minister of Social Security, National Solidarity and Environment and Sustainable Development. His Excellency, Mr. Moniz Lafay, Minister of Communications and Transport, Tuvalu. His Excellency, Mr. Raimoni Aoufi, Vice Minister of Communications and Information Technology, Samoa. Mrs. Doreen Bogdan Martin, Director of the Telecommunications Development Bureau, International Telecommunication Union, distinguished delegates of the ITU, representatives of the media, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As chairperson of the ICT authority, which is hosting this forum, I have great pleasure in welcoming you all this morning to this very important event on disaster management. The Republic of Mauritius is getting used to facing extreme disaster and disastrous weather conditions like cyclones and flash floods as such calamities have become recurrent. The risk of disaster, therefore, is a matter of continued concern for us. In such a context, this forum, which is the third Global Emergency Telecommunication Forum, and its theme especially, innovating together to save lives using technology in disaster management, can only be of immediate relevance to us. The use of technology, or more precisely, investigation into how the use of technology, in particular ICTs, may be applied towards disaster management is a matter that the ICT authority has long been associated with. In 2009 and in 2013, with the close collaboration of the parent ministry, the authority organized events on the subject of ICTs for disaster management with local and international stakeholders. These events generated great interest among key stakeholders involved in disaster management. And what emerged from the discussions was that there was the need for a central agency to coordinate disaster management in order to enhance response in times of emergency and urgency. The ICT authority has been engaged in close collaboration with the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Center, telecom operators, and other stakeholders in the endeavor to work out and establish a framework whereby existing telecommunication infrastructure and facilities can be put to use during, during emergencies. Additionally, the authority has set up a conclusive licensing framework for radio amateur in Mauritius, which is based on the adoption of the frequency allocation recommended by the ITU for this segment. The use of artificial intelligence to predict the occurrence of natural calamities just like the use of drones to assess damage and more importantly to assist in search and rescue operations are living examples of how technological innovation can be a useful tool to enhance efficiency and responsiveness in disaster management. With a mobile penetration of 146% in Mauritius, the focus now is towards providing public warning systems over mobile networks. The cell broadcasting system 
which resembles SMS very closely, is nevertheless in terms of implementation by far the most practical mobile-based technology. It satisfies most of the criteria defined internationally in terms of requirement for a WSL broadcast operating on GSM, UMTS, and UTRAN networks. It enables prompt delivery of emergency alert messages on a one-to-many broadcast basis. And it also addresses security concerns as only authorized personnel may have access to the system for the broadcasting of alert messages. The advantage of the cell broadcasting system over the emergency SMS alert system, which is another means to reach the general public, is that it does not have the inconvenience of network congestion resulting from the transmission of voluminous SMS alerts, as is the case with the emergency SMS alert system. Thus, there is no likelihood of delay in the delivery of critical alert messages with a cell broadcasting system. Another advantage is reliability as regards the source of the message. The alert is generated by a legitimate authority, whereas with the emergency SMS alert system, there is no indication whether such is the case. Also, the cell broadcasting system does not involve any risk of spoofing of message from other phones, as is the case with the emergency SMS alert system. Thus, having regard to the fact that the cell broadcasting system offers the best combination of reach and reliability, action has already been initiated with mobile operators for its implementation in Mauritius. Concerted and critical thinking, as well as collaboration, are, to my mind, key components which require continuity over time in regard to disaster management. This is precisely the prime consideration of the ICT authority in hosting this forum with the blessing of the Honorable Minister of Technology, Communication and Innovation and of the Government of Mauritius. The common target is to explore the full spectrum of innovation through the use of ICTs and technology with the objective of saving lives. It is a matter of comfort to see so many experts gathered here today to share knowledge and experience on disaster management in order to save lives. The topics of discussions will no doubt generate, generate meaningful debate that will lead to more meaningful action in the future. I therefore wish this ITU forum innovative outcomes and wish all delegates a fruitful and fruitful and enjoyable experience and an equally enjoyable stay in Mauritius. Thank you.